This is Buddy Buchanan with the Lear and Times bringing you today's news, Friday, June 23rd, 2017. Upgrades to the kitchen of the Liberal Senior Center are nearly complete and a ribbon cutting for the new look cooking area is scheduled for early next month. The main appliances are all here and they're all hooked up, said Director Darlene Ford. The exhaust system and suppression system are now up and running and inspected. The health inspector will be here next week. Along with the health inspector, Ford said the food manager for elder care, the operator of the Friendship Meals Program, will be in Liberal as well. The ribbon cutting itself is scheduled for 1 p.m. July 5th at the Senior Center at 701 North Grant. We're inviting anyone who has made any donations of any sort, Ford said. Anyone who has any interest at all in what the center is going to be looking like as we prepare the Friendship Meals can come through and they can tour the kitchen on that day. Ford said, though, those interested in getting a look at the kitchen should not wait to do so. After that day, once the kitchen's open, you're not open for general public to come through, she said. We made the decision that it was best to get it done before we open, and since Thursday is going to be our open day, we're going to go ahead and go for the fifth. Ford said there have been no major delays in getting the kitchen ready, and everything purchased for the new kitchen is restaurant grade. Ford said elder care itself was used for research into what would work best in the kitchen. We went to several of their different kitchens that are serving to try and make sure that we're not going to buy things that weren't being used, she said. Ford said center officials want to make sure everything is up and running well before putting too many things in the kitchen. And for now, there is a limited extent of the senior center's menu, but other meals are not completely out of the question. This is Buddy Buchanan with The Leader in Times. God bless and thanks for watching.